I'm delighted to be here today to participate in this important panel discussion. The title of this year's WISH is One World, Our Health. And in that spirit, I would like to share with you Qatar's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We have drawn on the knowledge and experience freely shared by other countries, and for that we are grateful. Now we would like to share our experience in turn. Here in Qatar, we faced a significant epidemic of COVID-19, which peaked on the 20th of May. Despite the large number of cases, our health system was never overwhelmed. Our hospitals and intensive care units remained open throughout. Every death is a tragedy, but we are thankful that our total was low in global terms. Our case fatality rate is 0.15%, one of the lowest in the world. This is a tribute to the talent and commitment of our doctors and nurses and the whole healthcare workforce. It is also a testament to the high quality of our healthcare system. His Highness, the Emir of the State of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, directed the Council of Ministers to take a whole government approach to the pandemic. This was led by the Supreme Committee for Crisis Management. From the outset, it was clear that our response had to be timely and coordinated across government. We developed a national response action plan with clear lines of authority and the integration of our plans. It relied on science and evidence and a careful balance of health and business needs. We carefully planned and executed a phased partial lockdown and reopening of restrictions. We knew soon after the epidemic began that 14% of COVID patients would require admissions to hospital and 5% would need intensive care. We opened nearly 3,000 acute care beds and 227 ICU beds and secured extra ventilators. We made provision to treble the ICU beds to 749 if necessary. We transformed an entire general hospital into an intensive care hospital and redeployed hundreds of staff. We have treated nearly 2,000 patients with severe COVID-19 in our ICUs since the start of the pandemic, of whom nearly 90% have been discharged. To contain outbreaks, we opened 24 isolation facilities with a maximum capacity of 30,000 beds and 60 quarantine facilities with a capacity of 15,000 beds. These included hotels, guest houses, and camps. Our infectious disease team drew up treatment protocols based on the latest evidence, and new drugs were continuously added to our formulary. Today, the epidemic has stabilized in Qatar. We have not seen a second wave, but we remain alert. There have been a small number of outbreaks, mostly associated with family gatherings, which we have controlled with active surveillance and contact tracing. We have expanded our laboratory services and can now provide 20,000 tests per day, 10 times the number at the start of the epidemic. A key factor in our success is our system of universal health coverage. All costs of treatment were covered by the government, irrespective of nationality or social conditions. All patients received the same high standard of care. Our low mortality is attributable to a variety of factors, including the young age of the population, but particularly to the high quality of medical care provided equally to everyone. Throughout, we strived to keep our healthcare workforce safe and protected, and our hospital acquired infections as close to zero as possible. For non-COVID patients, we continued to provide care remotely, taking advantage of the extensive connectedness of Qatar today. Patients received their medication by post with over 250,000 prescriptions delivered to date. This was a gigantic effort, but we could never have controlled the epidemic without the help and support of the people of Qatar, who observed rules of mask wearing and hand hygiene and limits on public gatherings. Consequently, 
we never needed a full lockdown. Sharing information is vital. We worked to deliver clear messages through traditional and social media, as well as sharing data at the international level. We know we will win this battle only if everyone wins it. In solidarity, Qatar has so far helped more than 70 countries and international organizations with equipment and resources. COVID-19 is not beaten yet. Our strategy remains one of vigilance and focused action tempered by a controlled return to normality while keeping our people safe. We await with the rest of the world the development of a safe and effective vaccine. In the meantime, we must rely on the public health measures with which we are all familiar and on the dedication and professionalism of the global healthcare workforce to keep us safe. As many countries around the world experience a second wave, sharing experiences becomes even more vital. Thank you for joining us today to share your experience and your expertise.